In this video tutorial, we'll demonstrate how to set up and edit the chart of accounts. A chart of accounts must be created to use the bookkeeping function in Drake Accounting. When saving a newly added client, Drake Accounting automatically prompts you to set up a chart of accounts. You have the option of setting it up at that time or waiting until a later time. There are three methods of creating a chart of accounts. Using a predefined template, copying the chart of accounts of an existing Drake Accounting client, creating a customized chart of accounts from scratch. If you select to copy an existing chart of accounts, a list of all the clients with the chart of accounts displays. Select the client you wish to copy and click Next. The copied chart of accounts displays all accounts with a zero balance. Creating a customized chart of accounts is the most labor intensive as you have to create the client's entire chart of accounts from scratch. For today's example, I'll select the 1120S template and click Next. The chart of accounts screen is displayed. From here, you can double click any account to make changes if needed. Let's say the client has more than one savings account and I need to rename account number 100.03. Double click the savings account and change the name. Review the rest of the screen and click save. To add a new account to the chart of accounts, click the add button. Let's add a second savings account. Enter an account number, name, and type. Select a subtype from the drop list if applicable. If you wish this account to appear in a cash flow report, select the appropriate cash flow classification type. For level zero postable accounts, enter a current balance in the debit or credit fields if applicable. Then in the grid below, record the month or months in which the current balance applies. Alternatively, set the debit or credit as a start of year amount. The balance automatically updates when transactions are posted and cannot be changed on this screen. Next is the option to enter a yearly budget, which sets the annual budget for this account and is available in financial reporting. If you would rather set a monthly budget for this account, you can do so in the grid below. At the end of the year, the balance of the account can be exported directly into Drake Tax by mapping the account to the Tax Return Information section. Choose the Tax Form, Tax Line, and tax form instance. Tax form instance is used when there is more than one instance of a tax form in the client's tax return in Drake Tax. For example, the client may have two Schedule L's, so you would enter one or two to specify which Schedule L the account balance should export. Click Save. If an account needs to be deleted, select the account and click the Delete button. If there has been activity associated with the account, the account cannot be deleted. If I had decided to wait to create the client's chart of accounts at a later date, or I need to make any changes to the client's existing chart of accounts, simply navigate to Accounting, Chart of Accounts. For more information, visit accounting.dragsoftware.com.